Today's daf is daf nun beis. Muta berota. So we're talking about a person who took a neder from basa that he would enjoy himself from eating basa. He's allowed to eat the gravy itself if he skims it off. With the keeper, there was a a part of the meat that sinks to the bottom of the there are small pieces. That's not the derech for the You don't call kipa basa. You don't call rota basa. Of you the oser. Of you, that says that anything that is part of the meat as it was prepared, even the rotev and the keeper, they came from the basar, and therefore once he took a neder, then anything that comes out of the basar is likewise also. And basically, the sheet of Rabbi Yehud is that he made the basar into a chef to the surah, and therefore anything that comes from it is also also. Amr Rabbi Yehud, Rabbi Yehud wants to prove his sheet of that it's also, and he says, Maisa, there was a story of a person who took a neder and atid basa, the also alenu, Rabbi Parafan, after beitzim, shenes bashlu imo, even the parava eggs that were cooked in the same pot with the basa and absorbed the time of the basa, even those were also, how much more so, rotev and kipa, which have mamoshus, real parts of the basa. Omulo um, l'chacham rejected that proof, Kenadover, your testimony is truth, but Amosai, what was the exact circumstance there? What were the uh, nuances of that scenario? And it was Bizman Shiyomar Basar Ze Alai. So he made the Basar into a Khefzad Yisur by pointing to the Basar. And Shad no dim and Adavar Unis Arid Beacher and Yeshba Beno Saint Tabasar. I agree with you fundamentally that if something became through neder a chef to the sur for him, then anything that absorbs the tama that chef to the sur is also. So if you had a mixture, for example, you had the rotev and you had the kipa and the basin that also accepted received the, the tama isur, they are also because the boss is a chef to the surah. And he's making this into davar ze also. But if a person takes a general neder on basar, then he didn't mean anything besides the basar itself, whatever people normally include in basar. And that which comes out of the basar, although it has a time of the basar, is muta because it's not considered basar. Hanoder min yayin, the Mishnah continues, a person took a neder not to enjoy the benefit of yayin. He did not say yayin zeh. He took it in a general sense on yayin. What do people include? What do they intend to include on the yayin? Muta v'tav shil sheyesh tam yayin. He's allowed to eat a cooking that had one of its ingredients was yayin. Because that's yayin al yudei tarovas. And he only prohibited on himself be'en of yayin. Avil, however, on a code of yayin zeh shaniton. And he made the yayin into a chef to the sur by pointing and singling out this yayin, then nafal tavshil, if that yayin fell into a mixture, it's like any other machal sasuris that gets mixed up in a mixture, and it depends upon the Messina's tam. In Yeshba, if there's enough yayin that fell into this tarovis, into this tavshil, that's the no same tam. So, for example, the ratio between the yayin and the rest of the tavshil is 1 to 59 and not 1 to 60. I raise that also. Everything is also because he mentioned yayin zeh. And now we turn to daf, nun beiz, amin beiz. The Gemara says, Raminu, the Gemara now finds a stira to Rabbi Yossi's opinion in Amishnah. Rabbi Yossi, if you recall, as we saw in the previous shia, Says that no dim in a chal of also bekum, and that's the way that comes out of the milk. Uriminu, we have a vision later on on the gimel and bays that if a person takes a neder and joining himself from hanom and adoshim from lentils also bashishim. The Tanakhama of that Mishnah says that if you have adoshim that were fried together with Tvash, then they are still called Adoshim Rabbi Yossi Mati. According to Rabbi Yossi Ashishim, are not included under Adoshim. And the Gemara is asking a Kalvachomer if Rabbi Yossi is Matir 
for no demin adoshim lehenos min ashishim, because he holds that there was a different shame. The original name of adoshim has been transformed to ashishim after he fries it with honey, and therefore it's not included in the neder of, of adoshim. How much more so would it be matir in the case of anodim and acholav to benefit from the kum? Because that's a separate entity entirely. It's not just that he cooked it and he changed it and transformed its name. It's not part of cholav. So why? And how does Rabbi Yossi and Mishnah say that anodim and acholav also the kum? Kumar says, Lo Kasha, there's no contradiction between our Mishnah and that Mishnah, because these are two different cases. The Mishnah later on, which records Machlok Shin Rabbonon and Rabbi Yossi Ben Ashishim, where they're included on their Adoshim or not, our Mishnah, there's no Machlok Shin Rabbonon and Rabbi Yossi about Kum, whether it's included in Cholov or not. Marki Asri, Marki Asri. The Rabbonon, who said that no Dim and Cholov and Mutav Kum, they were talking for according, reflecting the Bidagam Mokram in their locale. And Rabbi Yossi was talking about the minute of calling Cholov in his locale. And here's how the Gemara interprets that field. But Asra, the Rabbonon, in the area of the location where the Rabbonon were, Karul Chalva, Chalva, Kuma Kuma. Kuma is called some by its separate name. But the Asri, the Rabbi Yossi, Lekuma Nami Korle Kuma de Chalva. They used to call it Kuma de Chalva in Rabbi Yossi's locale. And therefore, it's the Kuma of Chalav. So Rabbi Yossi says that Anodim and Chalav is also the Kum because even Kum has the name Chalav to it. And the Gemara brings a Bryce in Altanya, Anodim and Chalav Mutam Kum. And this reflects the Shita of the Rabbanon, that the mind, the way that comes out of Cholov in Loshim and Ayodim has its own name, it's called Kum, and therefore the Neder formulated as Cholov does not include Kum. However, if a person takes a Neder, Menakum, and you might think, well, he really means Cholov itself. No, Mutub Cholov, that's not called Kum. Now a person takes a neder not to benefit in a cholov, but to be gvina. Even though gvina is made from milk, nevertheless, it's not called cholov, it's called gvina. And in Lashem gvina is a separate name, and it's not called cholov. Or, in a flip case, when a gvina took a neder prohibiting himself from cheese, but to is a different name. If he takes a neder not to be nenem in a rotev, mutav a kipa. Kipa, those small pieces of meat that rest at the bottom of the ketera are not called rotev. They have their own name. And therefore, in the flip side, he takes a neder in a kipa, mutav a rotev. In Omar Bos and Zeolai, also bo, berotov a kipa. As we said before, once he designates a specific piece of meat, that becomes a chef to the surah, and, and, and included in that Isa Neder is that which is Yotze Min Ha'isa. Hanodim in a Yayim, Mutu Vitav Shil Sheish Botam Yayim, because he took a general Neder on Yayim, but Omar Konam Yayim Zesh Ha'initon, he prohibits himself on this particular wine, and Vinafal with Tokha Tavshil, the, the wine was mixed in a in a cooked uh, mixture, a Tavshil, and Yesh Botam Yayim, a Rizzo Ost. The Mishnah now here on Daphne Beis on the Beis, I know them and I know them, but If he takes a nether and joining himself from grapes, he's allowed to drink wine because he took a general nether on a novim and not on the yotzim in a novim. Or if a person took a nether in a zesim, but to shemit. Shemit is not zesim, it's yotzim in a, in a zesim. However, Omar, if he declares, Kodim zesim a novim, elu. Shenutom, he specifies these Zaysim or these Anovim, they become a chef to the surah by virtue of his neder, therefore also by him, Ube Yotze, Mayhem, anything like Yayan or Shemin that comes from the Zaysim of the Anov. The Gemara quotes a suffix of Rami Barcham, boy Rami Barcham. Why is it that if he says Konim Zaysim Anovim Elu Shenutom and he mentions them 
and designates them. He's also the Mashkiva Yotzimeim. Is it Elu Dafka? But if he says any toem, then it doesn't include the mashkim. Oh, she any toem bedafka. The emphasis is not on the word elu, but on she eno any toem. The fact that he added the word she any toem, he wanted to tell you that he's excluded from all hano, even on hayotzeben mehen. But if he would just say elu. And he would not add the word chain and poem, then he would not be awesome in the Mashkir Yotzimeh. So the Gemara tries to resolve Rami Bar Chama and his suffix with a logic. If you're going to say that the Mishnah is putting all the emphasis on the word Elu, why did the Mishnah add those words any poem? And the rejects this. It's possible that the reason for the mission is because he said Elu. Ah, you'll ask me why did the Mishnah add the word Shaini to him? Well, Kamashmo wants to teach us the Alpha Gav the Omer Shaini to him. Omar Elu Mitzar, Elo Lo. The reason why a person takes a konum from Zaysim Vanovin is also the Yotzev, and that's only because he said Elu. But if he just would have said Eni to him, that itself would not be enough to expand the Isa to include the Yotzimahen, the Mashke Yotzimahen. Omar Rava, Rava wants to prove that there's an Isa on Mashke Mayotzimahen, even in the case of Shani Tohen. So therefore, if he says, Konam Zesim Vianov Me'elu, he's allowed to drink the Mashke, the Yayin, or the Shemen. Omar Rava Tashma. Listen to the Mishnah later on in Zion. A man declares Konam Paris Ha Elu Olai. Okay, he says Ha Elu, for example, the Paris in, in front of him. And he says, Konam Hain Lipi, these Paris should be also to my mouth. Also, If these Paris were replaced by others or by soul or, or soul, he's not allowed to benefit from the money that he got as an exchange for these peros. Ubegidulea means if these peros were planted, he's not allowed to eat that which grows from these plantings of the peros. Now the Mishnah didn't say that he's also in the Mashke Sheyotzeman. That would have been a greater Chiddush. Why didn't the Mishnah mention that? Why was the Mishnah focused totally on if he would fame and give, lay, give us a bigger Kiddush and tell me he's also even the Mashkin Ayotzevahim. And therefore, we can derive the conclusion that even though he declared Elu, it's also Dafka Bekhi Wufayim and Gidulayim, Chobe Mashka Yotzevahim Mutter. As long as he doesn't add Shani Tohem, which would expand the scope of Zisa to include Mashkin Ayotzevahim, but he only said Elu, then he's not also the Mashkin Ayotzevahim. And he rejects it. The Mishnah didn't even tell us that the Mashkin Ayotzimahen are awesome. The Mishnah wants to tell me a bigger finish. The Mishnah later on at Daphne Zion wanted to prefer to be Mashmiya to teach us a greater finish. That he will fail, even though they don't come from the goof ha isur, it's only money that he got as an exchange. Nevertheless, it has the same status as Gidulea, as if it was Yotze mi goof ha isur, and Kabachoma that he's also the Mashkin Yotze which comes from the isur itself. So if he will fail or also, which is only the money he got for it, then how much more so Mashkin Yotze Toshma, here's a proof. If he took the neder of Konam Perisheni Ochel, the Sheni Toem, Mutabachi Wufayim, the Gidulea. In these cases, since Achilas Chiwufayim, the he doesn't taste the Peril Sasurim, he doesn't get a taste of that Peril that he, that he prohibited. So by adding Shani Toem, he excludes 
she will fame and give you land because there's no time. But the Mishnah didn't point out that he's muta be mashkin ayotzim in gufa isa, which, as we said before, would have been a chiddush gadol yotzim. So, from the fact that the Mishnah limited its heter to chilufem and gibulem, where it's not part of the guf apri, the implication is that it would be also to drink the mashkin ayotzim and the shemen and the yayin. And why? Because he said she'eni toeh. So again, the Mishnah is telling me that any toim is 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 mutavachi lufem gidulem ha yotzim and also, and the Gemara rejects. The truth be told that only if he says elu then he's also the mashkin ayotzim and. And if he would say sheni toim without the word elu, he'd be mutavachi mashkin ayotzim and. So why did the Tana tell me that chiddush? And the answer is, I did the lonosiv b'reisha yotzeben, lonosiv nami b'seifa yotzeben. I got the reisha to maintain the symmetry in the Mishnah. And in the reisha, he didn't write that if he said, Elu, he'd be also the mashkin a yotzeben aperos. Therefore, in the seifa, likewise, he didn't point this out. That if he only said, any toem, It doesn't say in the Mishnah that he be mutter be mashkin ayotzeman. It says that he's mutter in chilufein and gibuleim. And the Gemara now wants to prove that the reason why he's also be mashkin is because he said elu toshma. We have a Mishnah that we saw in Daf Nun Beis Amud Aleph. Amar Rabbi Yehuda, Maisa vi also Rabbi Tarfan Olai beitim shenis bashlu imo. So Rabbi, Rabbi Tafin, in the case where a person prohibited himself from basar, he's not allowed to eat the, the, the eggs that were cooked together with the basar. Amrulo, after Rabbi Yehuda quotes this Misa, the Chacham responded that Amosai, when does this din apply that the Beit Simsh and Spashlimo are also, that's only because my Shomer Basar Ze'olai, Shana Nodim in Adova Vinis Arbe Acher, so that's when he says Bosa Zet. He specifies this particular Chetichas Bosa. And he wants to prohibit on himself the Bosa as a Dover Asa, prohibiting even the Tam uh, of the basin that has the Tam, has absorbed the Tam of the Bosa. And Zet is like Elu. In both cases, he's miyache the chefta di sura. So we see clearly that elu is the key of keys. And if he declares konim zesim the anov elu alai, then he's also the mashka yotzeh because they have the time of the isa. So Gemara says be elu loka be boila. The Gemara now changes the whole formulation. In the case where he says just be elu for sure. We don't have a question at all. It's Pasha de Dafka who that the Konim was on Elu. And he means this, these Zaysim and these Anovim as a Hefta be Sur and he's also the Mashkin Ayotim and Kimi Boilon. Our suffix is only the Aini Toem Dafka. <coughs> if he says Aini Toem, is it Dafka? Meaning these Zaysim and the Anovim, but not the Mashkin Yotzim. Uh, I'm sorry, and including the Mashkin Yotzim. And Olav Dafka, any Torah doesn't mean Elu. It doesn't mean that he's answering these Zaysim and Anovim as a Chef to be Sura to include him in the Mashkin Yotzim. So now the Gemara wants to prove that if he says any Torah, then he's not also the Mashkin Yotzim in a Paris. From the Mishnah Nunal from the base, our Omer Dag Dogim, Sheeni Toem, Osu Bahem, Bein Bigdol, Bein Bigtanin, Bein Chaim, Bein Mevushal, and Mutter, Bitaris Trufa, who Bitsir. So he mentioned Dag, which refers to the larger fish, and Dogim, which refers to the smaller fish. And that includes whether it's raw or cooked. But he's allowed to eat Taurus Trufa, that large fish that was cut up into small, small, small pieces. Because Dag Vidogim implies Shleman, 
full fish, complete fish in its natural state, not true fish, which was cut up into small pieces. He's also allowed to eat the tzir, that's the shuman, that kind of oily red substance that comes out of the fish. Even though it has a tarot, it's a mixture of kirve and dogin, the insides of the dogin, it's not included neither in dog nor in dogin. And for the fact that he's mati the tris trufa and the tzir, even though the advarim hayotzim in iser, we see clearly that any toem is not asit mutra bidvarim hayotzim in and Rava rejects this. Oh, my Rava, in truth, I can tell you that even if he's Oser, in the language of Konam, Zesim Anom Shedi Toem, he's Oser in Mashkin Ayotzeman. I, the Mishnah says, that if he declares Dag V'dogim, he's allowed to eat the tree, the Taurus Trufa. That's for Yotzeman. It means that all the juices were taken out before he took the nether. So therefore, it's not included in his nether when he says, Konam Zesim Anovim, this Tris Trufa. But other Yotzim in a, in a, in a Dogim would be also in the nether. Even though he only said Sha'eni Toem. And that leads us to the Mishnah here on Daf Nun Gimel Amin Beis. 